guys, I'm back with another video. This time I'll be reviewing Hooligan's haircut. Um, like, like I said before, there are loads of good comics out there which people don't necessarily know about. And even because, uh, just because the industry is in a bit of a lull at the moment doesn't mean there aren't good comics out there. And sometimes you have to go back uh, to find them. So, uh, let's see, what do we have here? This is a comic book which was written by uh, Peter Milligan and Jamie Hewlett. Uh, which are which should be known to any comic book fan. Peter Milligan is the writer of numerous DC and Marvel titles, um, amongst other things. Jamie Hewlett is, of course, the co-creator of Tank Girl and The Gorillas. These um, they 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 both started out um, with uh, 2000 AD and uh, Deadline magazine, and went on to forge great careers for themselves in comics and in art in general. Uh, so let's see on this comic um, this is published by Rebellion soft cover uh, it starts off um, about a, an inmate oops, somebody who's in an insane asylum called Hooligan which is of course a mashup of the names of the, of the writer and the illustrator uh, who is to leave a, a mental asylum and uh, to start a new life on the outside uh, and but before he does leave the institution he decides to give himself uh, a new haircut and it doesn't turn out exactly the way he expected it looks a bit it looks a bit wonky it's got a hole in it and uh, the hole just uh, seems to travel around the haircut it's, it's quite it's quite crazy um, so unfortunately well, long story short, just to give you like a brief, brief snops. Unfortunately, the haircut is in, exa in the exact same shape as a sigil, which shuts off um, these beings called the frequencies zonal modulators, who look just like the giant heads on Easter Island. They uh, keep our dimension uh, in tune and stops it from going all wonky and crazy. Um, so when he dons this haircut, things start going absolutely Pete Tong. <laughs> they start going absolutely mad as soon as he as soon as he steps out, and you can see how the art changes from this uh, line art style to this fully illustrated, f full color uh, gouache ninety style illustration with cut and paste paste graphics. And it's just this crazy, zany adventure. Have a look at that. Anyway, I won't push. I won't page through too much of this because I don't want to get a, a copyright strike. But as I mentioned, it was originally. Uh, published in the progs uh, prog 700 to 707 uh, in the in the 90s I believe it was 1990 and uh, the original collection that I had was this big hardback edition um, which which was a uh, just a, a bigger format than this and you know for old colleges like me that's with with uh, bad eyesight <laughs> Uh, that is quite an important thing. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll that's fine. But just I like I like the traditional big big work. But uh, on the other hand, what this edition does not have, at least sorry, what what uh, this edition has above the old one is this uh, cool Judge Dread story, uh, which I believe is the only Dread story that um, Jamie Hewlett illustrated together with Peter um, with um, Brennan McCarthy back in the day it's called Spock's Mock Chucks and it's also quite zany it's by Alan Grant so that's that's an extra bonus for people really into uh, into Jamie Hewlett but uh, don't want to go buying the individual progs or the collections of Judge Dredd so so there we are um, what else did I want to say so this is so this is a mark break from from 2080s uh, usual sci-fi uh, fantasy fair it's 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 a good laugh um lots of fun it's only 48 pages which which is a good call i think because uh taking taking all the craziness involved in this comic it, it would just weigh you out if it was a longer form story 
uh, which I think is a problem with with some of the longer form Tanko stories. Even though I really do love Tanko and everything, it just it's it's a, it's a good it, it's good for short, punchy stories, uh, not not anything long form. Um, let's see. Uh, what another thing I really liked about it was the foreword, which was written by Peter Milligan himself, which uh, gives some insight into the inspiration for the story, and that's that's quite amusing. Um, yeah. So so that's it. Um, oh yes, if you if you like uh, irreverent, traditionally illustrated '90s style British comics, then please consider backing Merry Boys, uh, which is now live and funding on Indiegogo. There's a link in the description for you to follow if you feel so inclined. Uh, and that is it for me for today. Uh, if you like this video and like to see more, um, please subscribe and hit the bell on the side for, to receive notifications when new ones get produced. And I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.